I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and this is the BlackBerry Z10 Snapshot Review. Here's what you need to know about BlackBerry's newest smartphone. The BlackBerry Z10 is a substantial improvement over previous BlackBerry smartphones. Packing the all-new BlackBerry 10 operating system, the Z10 brings a ground-up overhaul of everything you once knew about BlackBerry. The hardware is better, the software is better, and the multi-carrier availability, once it lands in the States, will be pretty nice. It's almost easier to ask what changes weren't made. This is a ground up overhaul for BlackBerry and they're really hedging the entire company on the success of this new platform. Among the improvements, the hardware. The Z10's hardware is a giant step forward and it's packing a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, a 4.2 inch HD display, a nice eight megapixel camera with cool features, which we'll talk about in just a second, a 1,800 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE connectivity, and more. On the note of the camera, it's improved and it offers new features like time shift which allows you to take multiple pictures and choose the best faces all without modifying the existing picture. The on-screen keyboard is also a huge improvement from the BlackBerry Storm days and despite having a 4.2 inch display it's easy to type on and it's got fantastic prediction software. BlackBerry 10 exudes a far more modern feel as well though the exact gestures will take some time to get used to. The personalization isn't quite up to par as it is with other operating systems on the market and the file system needs some work. It's new though which is really nice also. For those fatigued with Android, iOS and Windows Phone this could be a device to turn to. The BlackBerry Z10 is a beautifully designed piece of hardware that really resembles the iPhone 5. It's got a 4.2 inch HD display, it's packaged in a beautiful body, you're going to find HDMI and micro USB charging ports on the left side, volume rocker and vo uh, voice button on the right spine, 3.5mm headphone jack and power button up top, and nothing at the bottom. A nice texturized battery door as well. BlackBerry 10 is a marked improvement over BlackBerry 7, the company's antiquated former operating system. It brings the company once known as RIM into the spotlight with new gestures, apps, and more. The BlackBerry Hub is the new place to get all your information, whether it's BBM, email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, text messages, and more. I love the organizational flow of the OS, but find that the gestures are hard to learn and often fail. The software also has quirks. In the time I've been working with it, I've experienced more than a few random errors, force closes, and freezes. The hardware is very solid and it revisits that age-old can smaller smartphones exist in today's market question. The Z10 is easy to hold in the hand and it packs some fantastic specifications, proving that huge size and incredible performance don't have to go hand in hand. <laughs> Android. The all gesture approach of BlackBerry 10 is solid, but the learning curve is immense, which I expect will turn off those used to Android and iOS. In addition, the young app store is better than ever before, but both it and the overall ecosystem still pale in comparison to others. Battery life is also an issue, and as a former battery champ of the smartphone space, overall usage time can be much lighter. The BlackBerry Z10 is a substantial leap forward for BlackBerry. It brings the company into the 21st century with a modern smartphone with a dual-core processor, beautiful HD display, LTE connectivity, and an improved camera. The software is much improved, and unlike the BlackBerry Storm series, it's a solid smartphone with a few really nice features. The problem, it's too little too late. There aren't enough BlackBerry 10 choices for consumers to choose from. The Z10 is launching too late in the U.S., and the App Store selection is still behind. Given the price point, it's hard to see anyone choosing this over the Android and iOS options out there for now. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the BlackBerry Z10. We'll have the full review up shortly. Keep it locked. Let me know what you want to see at PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Thanks for watching the Snapshot Review. We'll see you next time.